Yes, yeah, so, so, so it's called, it's called pegging. It's called pegging. And you, you, you'd be a natural at it. I hate to be a bother, but um, if you're finished here, I am quite prepared to begin our journey to Ogremar. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess we should go now. I, I mean, this elf boy is probably way out of the Pooks League. So, um, let me just summon Big Gay Horse and we'll get going. So this, this is Big Gay Horse. He's my mount. A Big Gay Horse, this is, um, this is, y you know what? I don't think I ever got your name. Well, I was beginning to wonder if you were ever going to ask. My name is Commodore Matthew C. Parrot the Third. Big Gay Horse, this is our new friend, Kami. Charmed, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, my, my name is Pukamhura. I, I, it's old gnomish. It means rabbit bang. Uh, I fell into a rabbit's nest when I was three years old. Had to fight my way out. Had to fight my way out. Uh, but most people, they, they, they just call me Pook. Yes, I had gathered as much. You, you have a tendency to refer to yourself in the third person. Yeah, yeah, the Pook does tend to do that from time to time. Uh, people call me the Pook, uh, Pooker, Pookarama, Pookum, El Pookerino, Pookahannis, Pookeronomy, her Pookness, uh, Pookernot, uh, Pookie with a Y, uh, Pookie with an I-E, and heck, I've even been called Pookalama Ding Dong once. Uh, moving right along, uh, I can't help but wonder, where did you manage to uh, uh, purchase such a fine steed? Oh, the Pook did not buy Big Gay Horse. Uh, you can't buy. You can't buy a Big Gay Horse. Uh, big Gay Horses are wild and magnificent creatures. And you are very fortunate, very fortunate if one befriends you. And the Pook was very fortunate. And he comes when you summon him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Gay Horse is bound to my Alliance Militia Insignia. Alliance Militia Insignia. Yeah, it's a long story. Well, it is a long ride to Ogrimmar. Well, it was over a year ago. Over a year ago, I found out I was immortal. And then my friend Gavin, he, he's a rogue. He's, he's one of the doggo boys. Oh, he's such a good boy. Such a good boy. Anyways, he told me, hey, hey, Pook, if you're immortal, you should go sign up with the Alliance Militia for low-level immortals. The Alliance Militia for low-level immortals? Yeah, yeah, he, he told me to go to the SI7 headquarters in Old Town. Uh, they'd sign me up right away. That's where I met Matthias Shaw. Oh, don't get me started on him. Anyways, they signed me up on the spot, and then they gave me this magic insignia. A magic insignia. That, 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 that lets them teleport me from wherever I am in this world into a battleground. And it also lets me summon Big Gay Horse when I need him. Then I went to see Dr. Mixopixel to, to, you know, confirm that I was indeed immortal. Oh, and how did they do that exactly? With extreme amounts of violence. With extreme amounts of violence. And I take it you passed the examination with flying colors. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the poop ran back to her corpse and uh, was up and breathing again. No time whatsoever. No time whatsoever. So anyways, I go see Mixopixel. And he pegged me to be a level 20 immortal. A level 20. They can tell. They can tell what level you are. And like, level 20 is like the lowest level. The lowest level of immortal you can get. So I end up with all the shittiest assignments. I can well imagine. Yes! Stealing flags, stealing orbs, stealing war candy. Uh, uh, lots of stealing, really. Uh, the pook, not so good at the stabbing, but really good at the stealing. Really good at the stealing. And, um, what is it they do with all these things that you appropriate? Don't know? Don't care! Uh, that sort of stuff is above my pay grade anyways. Uh, they poof me into a battleground and then say, Pook, go steal some stuff. And the pook goes and steals stuff, or dies trying. I thought the Horde and Alliance were at peace right now. Well, that's what they say, but, 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 but damned if I see any evidence of it. But yeah, the, the Horde sends their immortals into the battleground, and uh, the Alliance sends their immortals in right after them. But honestly, these days, I, I spend more time on rogue booping duty in Stormwind than I do in any battlegrounds. Rogue booping? Yeah, it's some bullshit duty Matthias came up with to, de to deal with the horde rogues that keep running into the city, ganking everyone they see. Ganking? Yeah, yeah, the, the pook runs around the city looking for stealthies. And when I find one, I give them a boop on the nose. If they stab the poop, then I know they're a baddie. 
way. And if they don't, well, I just let them go on their way. And, uh, this, this is effective at deterring the gang kings. Not in the least. Not in the least. But uh, I guess he has to perform security theater. Uh, you know, make the civilians think the problem is being addressed. So, um, you're not going to at any moment be summoned into a battleground, uh, leaving me completely defenseless in the wilds of Kalimdor. Nah, nah, th th there won't be any poofing on this trip. Uh, uh, the pook is on leave of absence right now. I've got some family business to take care of in Aldham. My Uncle G, Uncle G, he's got a cursed eyepiece that he picked up in Aldham, so I thought, well, I'll head down there and see if there's anything I can find out about the curse. Uh, normally, I'd have just taken an Alliance portal to the Caverns of Times, and then it's just a short ride from there to Aldham, but because Matthias is being such a man-baby about my taking a leave of absence, the pook is stuck doing things the old-fashioned way. He revoked your portal privileges? He revoked my portal privileges, uh, like a little baby man-baby that he is. But, you know... I guess it's not all that bad. I, I mean, if I didn't take the trip to Booty Bay, I, I never would have found out. Never would have found out my civilian boss has moved his operations to Ogremar. And if I hadn't traveled to Ratchet, well, I'd never have been able to buy your freedom from that orc. So, you know, I guess it all worked out for the pook in the end. And I am most grateful to you for purchasing my freedom. It's not a problem. Not a problem at all. Uh, you do this little favor for me and Ogremar, and then we're both even. Uh, say, how did you manage to end up the property of that orc in the first place? Well, do you know anything at all about the theater business? Well, I know a little bit about show business. Uh, well, it, it costs quite a bit of money to stage a show. Uh, far more money than your average parrot can hope to be in possession of. I, however, am most certainly not your average parrot. I was able to convince the orc, uh, Gazrog, I believe his name was, to invest in my one parrot production of The Yeoman of the Guard. Oh, my performance was exuberant, stunning, and a testament to the craft. But alas, my genius as a performer went unrecognized by the boorishly uncivilized citizenry of Ratchet. Oh, the show closed after the first night without making penny one, and I was forced to indenture myself to the orc until such time as I was able to return his investment in my production. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. I, I mean, if you're going to perform Gilbert and Sullivan for goblins, uh, uh, you'd probably do better with Pirates of Penzance. Pirates of Penzance, I will not compromise my artistic integrity to appeal to the abject mediocrity of goblins. Words to live by. Words to live by. Okay, okay. So, uh, knowing my boss, he's probably in a tavern somewhere. Uh, the pook will wait up here for you. Uh, trust me, it's for the best. It's for the best that I do. Uh, I show up in Ogremar, things get really, really stabby. Uh, they're not a big fan of the pook in Ogremar. On account of you uh, stealing their flags. On account of my stealing all their flags. And now you're certain that, uh, this little adventure will not put me in any sort of danger. I, I am an artist, not a fighter. Nah, you'll be fine. Uh, uh, parrots are non-aligned, so the horde has no reason to get stabby with you. Very well. I will deliver your impassioned plea directly to your employer, Da Producer Sleeznik, whom, no doubt, having been moved by the emotion of my expert delivery, will make good with your paycheck at once. Great, great. That, that's fantastic. Exit. Stage left. Oh, and don't let the Volpera's yef you. I beg your pardon? 